So look, com- compact discs. Yes. Um, what? Because we were saying it off air, but it's worth saying it as as part of what we're doing as a show. I think mm. that um, we th- we think the compact disc will go away, but it may come back again. They might come back again. Yeah. In some sort of format. Yeah. Um, because what we what we said on on previous shows, I I go to Kendall quite often, and uh, I discovered that the the library there, the local library, has got rid of all their CDs. People weren't borrowing them that very much, so they decided to take them all, all to a charity shop and um, stop it. Right. Um, they're also not replacing any DVDs. They're not buying any new DVDs, and they're not charging for um, taking them out, borrowing them. Right. Um, but in Exeter, uh, they've still got s- some CDs and some DVDs, and they're still charging for borrowing those. Right. And I imagine they're buying new ones as well. But I, I don't think the display space is as much as it used to be. So just imagining in, in a few years' time, um, they might all be in, the, in a cage in the basement. Indeed, they could be. Uh, Who which, knows? At which point, um, we would welcome information about how CDs get out of the cage. Yeah, uh, but I don't mean to be morbid, but at what point we all might we might be dead. Well, that's true, John. What, you mean because of the nuclear war that's about to happen? Or well, just the possibly, passage of time uh, anyway? Poss- possibly that, but just mainly the, the, just the passing of time anyway, really. I think we're all getting older. I think that... Um, we should be, I think that um, we should be slowing down now. I've decided that I should be slowing down. We're only 20 something. Um, no, I'm 20. 20. Uh, nine. 29? So, well, so, I'm, oh. so I've got all. Oh. I've got. Next year I'm 30, but I've decided I need to be slowing down. I'm not doing so much travelling. Uh, now I'm living. I'm living in this flat and I've decided that I need to be slowing down and uh, I don't invite many people over to oh, see no, the flat. Oh no, no, you're a bit of a recluse. I am a recluse, to be fair. I'm just quite happy, you know, listening to music all day, to be fair. Uh, well, as long as I can eat, I don't care. No, no, well, that, that's, all, that's, all, that's all good, but John, all right, well, let's, let's just say in general that we, if there's still a phonic FM in 20 or 30 years' time, or however long it takes. Yes. Somebody... Well, I think, actually, this is what The Lost Chord is about, which the show, I'm not sure which week it is, but they co- they come around every so often. Right. And they studied, they've studied the archives of the library and also what's in the charity shops. So they, they, they chat the CD. There are people on Phonic, let's say, who, who are interested in CDs. Yeah. So, in theory, um, if... If there's ever a situation where local libraries or, or um, academic libraries yep. have got loads of um, compact discs or, or DVDs that are hiding away somewhere yep. and have gone out of style, but somebody revives them, because that's the other thing, um, liner notes and those little booklets that are slotted in with CDs and everything that are very hard to read, mm. they could be re-scanned and reproduced in larger type or clearer and make it easier to read. Mm. Um, and they could be given away or sold as rare items, or it depends. If, it depends if the market is there. For, well, that's for, true for people to buy them, I guess. Anyway, hello, extra library, Kendall Library, any other library. Don't throw them all away. Tell us about them, and we will make a radio show. Yeah, indeed, we will. Uh, now we're going to play uh, uh, a. G- uh, um, a Good Heart from Elton John. Yes, that's a very good thing. I shall rave on about that when it's when it's been played. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> 